One of the first indications I had that Christianity was fucking dumb came when I was a kid in the form of grown adults warning me about the demonic dangers of wearing a Ninja Turtles mask and getting free Reese's cups. <laughs> well, it turns out they still haven't grown out of being afraid of their own goddamn holiday, which we're going to see once again in this week's installment of God Awful Minis. So tell us, Heath, what will we be breaking down today? We watched Five Halloween Alternatives for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very dark sci-fi noir about an early prototype of a preaching robot Pat. doing his best to survive <laughs> while he laments the inevitable march of obsolescence and death. Oh, God, this guy was so fired from the Hall of Presidents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Eli. Plus alternatives for Halloween. <laughs> How bad was this mini? Well, if you get those ads on Facebook about an AI presentation robot you can use for your company, and you were wondering what its worst possible use could be put to, <laughs> you will love this movie. This four-minute video goes places under the skin wasn't brave enough to go to. <laughs> yes. All right, so is there anything you guys want to nominate this one for being the best at being the worst at? Yeah, okay, I'm going to go with best worst. We watch a guy fail the Turing test in a video. Yep. <laughs> really bad. Best worst Turing test results. Sure. Yeah. So I was going to go with best worst blackjack and hookers, right? So the entire idea behind this video is you don't need Halloween. We've got our own Halloween. It's even better than the other. And everything <laughs> that he says is just so sad. If you imagine someone doing any of this shit and like looking outside and seeing kids in costumes with big bags full of candy and shit, it's just so sad. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a Reformation Day party instead in their face. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go with best worst child endangerment, right? Half of these tips are just going to be, like, go get your ass kicked, kids. Yes. Go get your ass kicked <laughs> hard <laughs> by people in, on the night of anonymity. Get out there and pick a bunch of fights, kids. Yeah, you can do it. Right. Well, everybody's wearing a mask. Good call. All right, so let's dive right in. We're going to start this video off without preamble, which is rough because when you look as weird as this fucking guy, you want to ease people into your visage, right? <laughs> okay, right away he shows up. I feel like he's going to murder me in this furniture showroom at the Hallmark store where he lives <laughs> in this dungeon of that. It's terrifying. He looks like Roblox's first attempt to make a guy. Yeah. Right? Like Roblox all got together. <laughs> he looks like a Nintendo Me character. Yes. Like like an alien tried to dress up as a human Christian using a Nintendo Wii to build himself. Yes. <laughs> yes. His shirt says blessed, but his face says cursed. Yeah. <laughs> also, in the background of his sad little background studio thing, he's got this hotel painting. And it makes me so sad because, you know, he was walking through the ho Hobby Lobby and saw that on the nine ninety nine shelf and was like, ah, yes, art. Yep. I shall take one <laughs> art for my home. And one art, please. Mm. I like that it looks like a fruit thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he starts off by warning us that Halloween comes from a devil holiday from pagans. Yeah. And as he does that, he shows like he needs an example of a devil holiday from pagans. So he shows this dude like dressed up as a skeleton kind of or whatever. And my first note here is use a less fuckable satanic skeleton guy as your example, bro. <laughs> right? Because we're coming straight off of him. Right? So it's like, I'm Christianity. Here's Satanism. I'm like, I want to fuck Satanism. <laughs> yeah. Halloween is based on Samhain, the ancient Gaelic festival in which people would make music videos for 1980s power ballads and a very yes. beautiful man would be in it with <laughs> steam and smoke rising from everywhere for no reason. <laughs> did he find that? He says, and I quote, that Halloween has, quote, no redeemable qualities as far as the gospel is concerned and doesn't glorify God in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. yeah. Nothing about rising from the dead in the gospels. No. Like, uh, yeah. very, <laughs> or ghosts or anything. Yeah. Imagine looking at your calendar and being like, hmm, does Wednesday glorify God and not following that up with, oh, I am mentally unwell. Yeah. I am unwell. <laughs> Right, but he assures us that he doesn't do Halloween because he's too Christian. And I wrote, wait, so that's what you look like year-round? You just look like that? <laughs> Interesting. I'm a real Christian human person today. What? <laughs> 
But luckily, he has a few alternatives for us to avoid that satanic devil day. But before we get to those, please like and subscribe. You'll see there's a little button. Oh, my God. It's the <laughs> His channel's called Bible Flock Box. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Great SEO for me, but pretty bad for him, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> he has over half a million subscribers, though, I checked. That's, oh, that's yeah. upset. This video has 24,000 views, though. I feel like he bought himself some subscribers, okay? I want probably subscriber. did, although I will say some of the other videos include five facts Jehovah's Witnesses don't want you to know. Ooh. Ooh. Also, the miracle of turning water into wine explained. And mm -hmm. four reasons Christians should never drink alcohol, which that seems contradictory those two are confusing. to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then he, he generates engagement, right? He's like, and hey, why not tell me what you're doing for Halloween instead of Halloween in the comments that I wrote in my notes? Is it cry? Because I feel like this guy's going <laughs> to spend it crying. I feel like you write in the comments and then he's like, she's a witch. Got you. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. Needless to say, uh, my my comment was removed of when I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, so then he gets to his alternatives. He's got five of them for us, technically. So we start off with alternative one. Celebrate Reformation Day. This is the day that Germany sets aside to remember how hard Catholics can go fuck themselves. Okay, <laughs> but he's like, he's like Germany does it. Okay, not all of Germany. Some Nine sixteenths of Germany does it. A percentage it. of Germany <laughs> does it. Well, if the Germans do it, it can't be bad, right? Yeah. Okay, but Reformation, that's when Protestantism happened as a split from Catholicism. This is a celebration of that time that, you know, we got rid of doing good things in real reality and we made heaven all about magic thinking only. That's the celebration he's describing. Yeah, right. Yeah, remember that time in 1517 when Martin Luther touched off religious violence and persecution so intractable it would spill into the 21st century? Let's celebrate <laughs> that. And I just have to point out that the way he says excommunicated makes it feel like this is his first time having a mouth on camera. Right? <laughs> like Mark Lar came over and was like, they have mouths, Garklar. You need a mouth. And he was like, I don't know how to fucking use this. Excommunicated. <laughs> up, down, up, down, up, down. Got it. Uh, is it wet in here? Is it wet in the mouth? I say, <laughs> I wrote like his, his cadence is like he thinks he's rhyming, but he's not or something. <laughs> And then, so he gives us this little, the history of the Reformation, which is really weird because he doesn't mention the violence at all. Nope. Right? It's, it like basically ends with, and that little Reformation's name was Albert Einstein. <laughs> but then we get my favorite fucking part of this video, and it's tough to choose. This is where he's like, if you would like to learn more, you can buy the movie Luther. And then he teaches us how to buy the movie <laughs> Luther. Yes. You go to M. Amazon.com. It's a website, right? You click it and then you a DVD or a Blu-ray. That's all the options I'm going to offer. Those are the options that you get at audience. Amazon. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then he goes, and this is the best. Order it now and you will have it by Halloween. Yeah. yeah. And the actors will talk the lines with <laughs> mouths, I think. <laughs> yeah. Or you could just stream it like you lived in now, but no. Yeah, right. But yeah, it, the, he, you can watch that on Reformation Day. It gave you something to do while everybody else is dressing up, eating candy, and enjoying their existence. And that brings us to alternative number two. <laughs> and, and believe it or not, the first one was the high point, right? That was the best it ever got because alternative number two is to hand out Bible tracts. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> yes. Fuck your face so hard. Ah. <laughs> well, Halloween's a great opportunity because the non-Christians come to you. You yeah. don't have to knock on their door. You can annoy them on your own porch for a change. <laughs> yes. Oh, God, that's so much worse. Bible tracks on Halloween are so much worse than razor blades and candy, right? Like, oh, my God. I would love a razor blade and candy rather than a Bible track. I, you know what? I'm giving out fucking great pumpkin tracks next year. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's my Halloween. Okay. Well, he actually suggests, I would argue, something worse than razor blades in candy. Because then you get candy. He's like, oh, yeah, you can give out the tracts and also, you know, uh, fucking raisins or apples. <laughs> like an asshole, like yes, a goddamn yes. monster. A healthy snack. But resentfully, 
He's like, yeah, and I guess if you want to give out healthy snacks, you can as well. And I was like, oh, can we give out Nutri-Grain bars as well? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you think, how many eggs did you want to cover your fucking house in, my guy? Yes. At a certain place, you don't live in a house. You live in an omelet. <laughs> Yeah, but, oh, by the way, he will also happily sell us Bible tracts that you can disappoint children with on your own. That's, the rocks they gave Charlie Brown were to throw at this asshole. <laughs> this guy's, yes, he's the season finale for sure. He tries to sell a thing. Again, it, we're, we're like 45 seconds in, and now he's the second time he's trying to sell something to make a nickel on his affiliate link through Amazon. Yes. Uh -huh. You can buy the harassment kits. And don't answer yet. <laughs> Links to all that below. So shitty. That said, I would love for this guy to live in my neighborhood. My neighborhood. All right, kids. You enjoyed those comic books. I think you find them very inspiring. Hey. Oh, oh, um, hello. I am not sure if you remember me. I was by like 20 minutes ago with my son. Oh, yes. No, of course. I remember. Yeah. So I got a chance to look at your comic book thing that you gave him and I wanted to bring it back to you. Oh, you're not interested? Uh, No, no, I'm not. But I did wipe my ass on every page. Just oh. every single page there. So if you see as you go through, you'll see I, I just wiped my ass on every single page of this book you gave my son and now and now and this is really important I want you to have it. Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, it is. It is. It's almost as bad as telling a child they're going to burn in fire for eternity. Um hey, <laughs> at least this isn't what my wife wanted to do to you, man. I mean, trust me. This is better. Is that her jumping up and down on my car now? That is her. Correct. That is her. <laughs> And okay, so by now he's clearly running out of ideas because alternative three is outdoor evangelism <laughs> as opposed to the indoor evangelism he recommended for alternative two. I, I, I swear, I thought that alternative four was going to be like outdoor evangelism on one foot, you know, or in a hat. Swimming pool. <laughs> Here on earth where we all live, lots of people are outside of buildings on Halloween. So they're not protected from you by their buildings where they reside. <laughs> Here on Earth, as humans, we all are. Yeah, so many people are out. You can draw a much larger crowd. You could even triple it and still have zero people listening. Yeah, definitely go out on Halloween and try to draw a crowd with some evangelism. Yeah. That's I, I love that idea for you. I love it. <laughs> Put on a Christian play. A Christian I can't, play? <laughs> I cannot think of anything that would bring me more joy than encountering <laughs> a Christian play. In, at Halloween while wearing a mask. <laughs> I want to see this guy line up a shitload of people and then try to jump over a line of kids just really bad. He hurts himself. <laughs> he hurts a couple of the kids. The kids, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, here's a pocket Bible. He closes, he says, you know, you can put on a Christian play in the park. And then he adds, he's like, just make sure you get permission from the proper officials of your planet. Yeah, right. Are those officials' voices in your head? The galactic, I mean, the regular, the, this one, here. Oh, just regular lactic. Mayor. So then we get alternative four, which is learn about Halloween. Right, so I, like, I feel like he's leading up to watch this video on repeat all night to up my view count. It's only 24th. I have 500,000 subscribers. Okay, but to, to be clear, he means learn how to be a well-researched Bigot. Yes. That's what he means. Okay. And as though he was playing into our bit about him being an alien, this is a real quote from the video, and it haunts me. It haunts me. Tell your family about Halloween if you have one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. He sure does. I thought he was going to follow up with, like, I have one. <laughs> They're made out of meat. They like gave me. Birth to me and everything. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, he's, he wants you to learn all about the pagan roots of Halloween. That way you won't look stupid when you tell people that Halloween is going to cause a goat demon to corrupt the ghost that drives their body. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're like three minutes in and he tries to sell another thing. There's, <laughs> there's a graphic of how to like and subscribe to his channel yes. and give him money, theoretically. <laughs> but it's he's talking through it. It's just like... There's a mouse moving, so we learn. Oh, you 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 do it by clicking with the oh, mouse. Oh, you move the mouse with a little arrow. I was wondering, button. yes, what this little arrow did. Yeah, 
roots. There's also this great woman. He needs an image, like a visual image for the pagan roots of Halloween. So he cuts to a guy dressed as a Templar in front of Stonehenge. I, yeah. All right, man. Whatever works for you. <laughs> but yes, part of learning about Halloween is watching his other videos, which is another thing that you could do instead. I have videos about Halloween. This is one of them. Yeah, you're watching one, so you probably know. Your eyes remain moist without a touch of the tongue. So just <laughs> continue to watch. And then we get alternative number five, tell inspiring stories. This is the fucking best. <laughs> the last alternative is literally tell people that you're happy you're not going to costume parties and eating candy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but we could actually trick this guy into doing this, right? If we wrote him an email and we were like, hey, we live in your area, we just lie and say we live. He would invite us into his house and start to tell us about how much he loves Jesus. He would fly back to Earth and go back into <laughs> yeah. that bunker to do it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, he's like, it's like telling scary stories, but for cowards. Yeah. So he, he also says at this point, Halloween, this is a quote. Halloween has pagan roots revolving around superstitious beliefs about ghosts. Like, do you, do you, do you, hear, you don't hear it? You don't hear it. Really? <laughs> Turn this negative into a positive by telling the story of uh, our, our, our ghost thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so at the end of this, too, he tries to summarize his five points, but he forgets number four. He forgets the learning about Halloween. So even he's not paying attention to this <laughs> yeah. bullshit. Mm -hmm. He's repeating his five things like a like a middle school essay with like <laughs> the preponderance <laughs> of evidence, but then he forgets one of his evidences yes. that were in the preponderance. Yeah. It's yeah. so yeah. dumb. Yeah. That said, I would love to go to this guy's house. This guy's house. Heath, thank you so much for accepting my invitation to come over and hear positive stories about the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um I lost a bet with a coworker, so yeah, here I am. Wonderful. I do have coworkers at my job that I have mm. on Earth. They sure are Mondays. What? Before we begin, may I interest you in some hydrogen? I have fresh tank. Sorry, hydrogen? The element? Yes, I was under. I, I, I don't we. I like hydrogen to for drinking. Do you mean water? Yes, water. Yes, the hydrogen is for the water recipe. What is your water recipe? Hey, man, are you an alien? Very much so, yes. And that's it. That's the whole video. I, he, he says, mm -hmm. and if you liked this video, and I'm like, okay, I don't have to keep watching that <laughs> This anymore. is not for me, this part. <laughs> this part is for some other guy. And he, he plugs the affiliate link to buy the DVD. <laughs> Amazon mm -hmm. one more time. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, I'll tell you what. Judging by my suggested videos on YouTube, we haven't seen the last of Preach Bot 2000, but the rest <laughs> will have to wait until another God-awful minis.